the technical description would be pure rolling cycloid with variable effective diameter rollers. My name is Alexander Kernbaum. I'm a senior researcher at SRI International in the robotics group. And here we are at Robo Business. And we're showing off a lot of uh, new fun things today. Uh, one that I'm really excited about is called Abacus Drive. This is the first time we've announced it. It's a new rotary transmission. We think it's the first rotary transmission since the harmonic drive came out in the 1960s. In most applications that involve a motor, uh, you want the motor to spin a lot faster than the output. This just has to do with motor physics and you can't really get around it. So typically you have a transmission that exchanges the speed for the torque essentially. In robotic applications today, the most common transmission is the harmonic drive. Uh, and the main reason for that is the very low backlash. So this is what we're calling our abacus drive. The principle is that these rollers are actually moving in and out of a groove of variable diameter. And we're actually changing the geometry in a new axis that you know, before this, no one has really looked at. And that, that groove of variable diameter is what gives you the pure rolling motion, essentially. And the name of the drive, abacus drive, comes from the shape of the beads right there. Uh, it turns out, though, that the shape of the bead is actually a uh, design input. You can make it anything you want. And so here you see in this transmission we used uh, spheres, or you can think of them as just uh, roller bearings, uh, to create the transmission ratio, essentially. So here my finger is the input, and the output's on the other side. This is a three to one here, essentially. Uh, the areas that we think it's going to make a really big impact are applications where efficiency matters, which is going to be the case more for robotics, especially for any kind of mobile robotic platform. If your transmission is only 50% efficient, that means that at least half of your energy is going into heat. Uh, another area that we think is going to matter for robotics is simply having what we call a low back driving torque. Can the system be back driven? Uh, can the system know what the environment is like? Uh, with this kind of transmission, for instance, if you're around a human and you bump into a human, you can actually measure the motor torque increase at the motor, and then you can adapt to the environment. The last thing is going to be cost. So the transmission here has, is going to be significantly lower cost than, for instance, maybe a, a strain wave gear or something like that. So we actually have a really great partner in this. It's actually Harmonic Drive Systems. Uh, they saw something new in the market and they got very excited about it. So we're actually developing it with them right now. Uh, we're in the process of doing lifetime testing right now. And we expect to have uh, beta version drives within the year, essentially. And then after that, we'll be rolling out our first product. Concert.